Welcome to Country Stitchers. I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Deb. Consider yourself at home. Mm -hmm. It's been a little while since uh, we were back. Yes, yes. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Yes. Or Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is you celebrate. And Happy New Year. Yes. It feels weird that it was just yesterday. It was New Year's Day. I know. <laughs> it was like it was a while ago. My sister said, can you believe it's 2020? I said, it sounds like a news journal format movie for yeah. a TV show or something. <laughs> She said, oh, you're funny. I was like, yeah, well, 2020 was a long time ago when that yeah. came out. That was a long time ago. <clears throat> but I am glad that we're back on track again. It seems like we're lost when we're not together every week. I know. I know. We did Although, get together in Stitch last week. Yes. Well, and you came over Christmas Day. Yep. Yep. We had a nice Christmas Day. No snow. <laughs> no. Which was awful. But... Nothing in the radar either. No. <laughs> Anybody having snow? Oh, Absolutely yeah. Not. Yeah, we need to go visit those people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or guess. send some. <laughs> that would be nice. Just blow it our way. Yes. Yes. But um, it was nice. We took down the tree yesterday, though, so everything's... Now she has about 20 feet square more space in her <laughs> living room than she had before. That's a big tree. Yeah. Very pretty. Thank you. That's a big tree. Every year I look <laughs> at it and I go... <laughs> I like the pictures you send when you're decorating it, though, and Connor's yeah. like stretching way up there to try to put something at the top. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you for all of the kind comments also on our decorating video. Thank yes. you so much. Um, and also for McKenna that joined us last time. Yes, our Santa uh, Vanna. Yes, she, she loved reading everybody's sweet comments. Thank you. And that was fun. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And thank you, too, for the Christmas cards and the notes and the mm -hmm. emails and all mm -hmm. of the things that came our way. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you. Even when we weren't making our videos, it was nice to feel connected. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we did have some comments, though, in our last video mm -hmm. and some questions. Yeah. Let's chat about those. All righty. Sounds good. <laughs> did unlock her vault. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> um, T over by she wanted to know the colors of thread that i will be using in the kathy barrick pattern we talked about that last time about changing them mm -hmm. um and i will let you know that i will hold it up later for my works in progress and uh there's not many colors so we'll just we'll go over those the changes and then uh, maybe liz can list them at some point in the uh, dropbox mm -hmm. sound good sure okay um colleen was wondering what the Stitchers Unlimited tape was around a project that we showed in the last video. And I think it was your Santa chair. Yes. When you use mono canvas, which is the needlepoint canvas, it's very, very stiff and it catches your thread when you draw your needle through the fabric or through the canvas. So they make a tape that goes all the way around the edges. If you would sort of like whipping the edges of your fabric as a cross stitcher, they finish the edges of that canvas so that it doesn't catch your yeah your threads. Yeah. And the reason why I said stitches unlimited is because that's the shop that that's it came from. That's where I ordered that from, yeah. 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 Um, Yvonne wanted to know what fabric I was using for my Kathy Barrick chart. I'm using 40 count bisque. And I'm and using 32. 32 count bisque. Okay. Um, Susan, hi Susan. She wanted to know the designer for that Biscornu pattern that you showed. Mm hmm Yep. That was Praiseworthy Stitches. Okay. Uh, it came from a magazine, though. Um, the pattern in the magazine is called Biscornu Bows. And it's the January 2015 issue of Cross Stitch and Needlework. Okay. But that magazine is no longer in print. So you'll have to look on eBay or I know Salty Yarns has a magazine rack in their shop, and there's back issues of different magazines. Um, so you might check your local needlework store, mm -hmm. too, see yeah. if anybody has a copy of it. Okay. She also wanted to know, um, she gave us the exact minute that we showed it, which was great, but we, we held up a snowman and snowflakes pattern. Ah. And that was when we were going through all the pieces that are going to be in the grab bags. So I think this is the one you're talking about, Susan, but it is called Snowman and Snowflakes, and it's by Chessie and me. And it is also three Biscornus. That came out of my stash. Yeah, so this will be in um, someone's grab bag that we'll be announcing later. Yes, we will. Okay. Now that you mentioned it, I can <laughs> take it off my list. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Quilt Ma Sue, she wanted to know what were sand tarts. Oh, my. <gasps> what? Mm. Oh, my goodness. Sand tarts. Oh, my gosh. They're like my one of my favorite Christmas cookies. Is it fair to say they're Pennsylvania Dutch? Oh, I don't know. 
I have no idea. Or I w German. I'm not gonna. I don't know. I know they're they're really local to this area. Yeah, it's um, a very thin cookie. They're a rolled cookie uh, that you decorate. You cut out in shapes and you decorate with um, some egg wash and then with all your sprinkles and your sugars and stuff. And by thin, paper thin. Well, there's a good one. You ones. can roll them out that thin. Yeah. My my recipe is basically sugar, flour, egg. I believe is all that's in it. There's not much more in there. Butter. Margarine. Butter. I was going to say, you know, about, butter in there? About a pound of margarine, I oh, think, is in it. It's wow. a lot of margarine in it. Wow. And then, I have a really good recipe. It gets it so super thin. Yep. And my grandmother told me if you use, what's it called? Dessert sugar. Instead of regular granulated sugar, use dessert sugar, and then it even allows you to roll them even thinner. Oh, it's okay. a really, really fine ground okay. sugar. Okay. And oh, mm. yeah. But there's a great bakery in the area that makes them, and that's where Deb and I pick some up. Um, <clears throat> that's right the before the holidays. Only so. place if I don't make them that I will eat them from somebody else because I'm yeah. so picky about sand tarts. Yeah, it's rigid. If view. they're too thick or if they taste like flour too much, mm -hmm. but oh my gosh, they are so good. Those and my other favorite are pit cells. And again, they have to be made. You didn't get your snake, did you? No. No. Did not get that. I missed those <laughs> Christmas Day. I know. In fact, yesterday, McKenna um, wanted to know, Mom, can we make some pit cells? But we were taking down the tree, and yeah, it turns into a big project. Yeah. And then you had pork and sauerkraut and potatoes you were cooking, mm -hmm. and it didn't get done. But I will have to make them because, oh, my gosh, those are my favorite. I love pit cells. They're mm. good. Love them. So, yeah. Sue, you'll have to come over here and have some sand tarts. Actually, why don't we put our recipes in the drop box? Of sand tarts? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. we'll share that with you today. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Um, oh, someone wants to know if, uh, Denise, you wanted to know if McKenna was a nursing student because she talked about scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's going to school for um, radiography, so she'll be an x-ray tech. And um, thank you for everybody's ideas on how to get her stain out of her scrubs. I don't know that she actually tried it yet. <laughs> she was excited. She's going to do it. Um, oh, and <clears throat> the fabric for the ornaments all around piece that I'm working on, Liz had mentioned in, in the last video, she thought it was the called for fabric. It's not the called for fabric. Nope. Um, and I, and then I remember, cause I thought I remembered picking it out. They actually call for 28, eight count crystal relic, mm -hmm. which to me sounded like it was fabric that was going to have like a sparkle in it. It might not, but. So what I did was when we were down at Salty Yarns, I just chose something that I like. And this fabric is, the title of it is Days Gone By, which I never remembered. But um, when Gia left her comment and she said she thought it was called Days Gone By by Silk Weavers, that's true. It's a Weigart fabric mm -hmm. dyed by Silk Weavers called Days Gone By. Yep. So And it, it is unbelievable fabric to stitch with. If you can get a hold of it, I'd love to get more of it. It is so easy to stitch with. So pretty. Um, so thank you, Gia. It's a very unique hue to it. Yeah, but I just love, it's the needle just, it's so easy. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> love it. Yeah. Um, so when we go down to Salty Yarns, I'd like to get more of that. Uh, let's see, KT. She wanted to know um, about flower thread that you were talking about in the last video. Okay. Um, <clears throat> she wanted to know, is it a type of floss or a brand of floss? And she just wanted to know more about it, especially like if we could show samples of the Danish flower thread. Okay. How about I do that next video? I'll bring several different types of flower thread that I have. And um, as far as what it is, it is a floss. Um, it's used as an embroidery thread. And it's twisted, so it's not stranded like DMC um, standard floss. Um, but DMC did have a flower thread, and it's used just as one strand right out of the skein. Yeah. It's <clears throat> very pretty. It is very pretty. It doesn't have a sheen to it. I, I noticed anyway. It doesn't seem like it has that sheen like a DMC no. regular thread does, no, but it's I don't very think so. pretty. I was trying to recall <clears throat> of the different types I have, if any of them do, but I don't oh. believe they do. I think it's more, it's all very muted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty though. It gives a very different look. <clears throat> it does. Yeah. Um, what? You're, which one are you stitching though? Which don't one? Don't you have, um, is there a Christmas piece you're doing? Yes. 
it has I the red it, and green? I have it to show oh, the you do? pattern I brought with me um, when we were going to talk about what we're going to work on. Oh, okay. All right. I brought the pattern to show. Okay. But I did, I bought uh, DMC, actually, flower thread. And I ordered all the skeins I could find of the three colors that are in this pattern because I didn't want to do it in um, variegated floss. So I'm using the flower thread. Okay. All right. Uh, Carol, <clears throat> sorry for clearing my throat. There has been some kind of allergy going on around here because it's not cold. <laughs> it's too warm. Yes, and both of us are. <clears throat> um, Carol wanted to know, well, she wanted to know the designer of the Biscorner, which I think you just said. Praiseworthy stitches. Okay. Yeah. All right. And we did look on their website, did not see that that's released outside of the magazine. Oh, okay. But maybe it just wasn't showing up. Yeah. And I just thought this was cute. Linda, she <clears throat> stitched that Oh Christmas tree that I showed in our last video, that pattern. Mm -hmm. And she says there are five birds on it. And she stitched the five birds in the red Valdani thread. Oh, um, pretty. To, yeah, and it was kind of like uh, in memory of five of her family members. Isn't that a sweet idea? Yes. Yeah, she did do it in the called for um, Olive Valdani, but then she changed the birds. Neat. Yeah, I thought that's pretty clever. I like that. I bet that's very pretty, too. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, Bonita. She wanted to know the name, uh, the brand of the wooden hoop that I think your Biscorna was in. Mm-hmm. On the last video. Yeah, I bought that small <clears throat> sort of TV-shaped, screen-shaped mm. hoop. Um, that's Hardwick, mm -hmm. and they come in all shapes and sizes. We're yes. collecting them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Um, and we bought ours at Salt Yarns. Yarns. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, and thank you to everybody who let me know where I could find the Yes Virginia chart. Just the chart. That was awesome. Thank you. Like PDF file, um, the silver needle. Where else? You found it somewhere else. Also, um, mm. no, I was out on silver needle. Oh, you were on silver mm. needle. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> couple other, couple other people too. Um, let me know where I could get that. So that was awesome. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Oh, Joyce. She has the ornaments all around, <clears throat> but she needs to get, she said the star. I think you're talking about the charm that goes in the middle of it, that big gold charm. And I think it's a snowflake. I have my thing over here. I'll look at it. But <laughs> if that's what you're talking about, when I <clears throat> got all of my beads and Krynik for this, I bought everything at Salty Yarns. They had everything I needed there, including the charm that goes in the middle. So... That's an idea. If you don't have a local needle workshop, uh, you could you could give them a call. And they have um, a cabinet full of, well, more than one cabinet full of embellishments and charms. Yeah, and yeah. And I was able to get all my beads and everything there. So I'm, pre unless you're talking about something I'm not sure of, but I'm. It's got to be that mm -hmm. big charm in the middle. Yeah. So. Um, oh, this was cute, Lisa. She wanted to let you know. Well, she had just found. Um, recently found us and she was searching for help on how to finish um, a Just Nan Mouse and that's how she found us. Really? Because of that video you did. I yeah. thought I saw it go up by one number. <laughs> <laughs> huh. That's nice. I'm glad that was something that helped you. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Yeah, and connected us. Yes. Um, again, another one. Uh, Teal, she wanted to know the magazine. We took care of all that for the Biscorny Tree. Um... Oh, and also, when I was showing you the pattern, the ornaments all around pattern, I didn't let you know, I don't think I did, who the designer was, because then we got talking about yes, the fabric. we did. Sorry about Back that. Back on our days gone by <laughs> yes. versus what's the name of the fabric conversation. Yes. <clears throat> so, sorry about that. The, um, oh, <laughs> right in front of my face. So it's called Ornaments All Out Round, and it's a Glendon Place chart. Um, yep. I guess I can... Hold that up there. But that's what it is. It's Glendon Place. So, sorry about that. <clears throat> now you see it, now you don't. Yes. Um, someone else wanted to know in the Lancaster area where the guilds and any other cross-stitch festivals are. Lancaster area, the only guild I know <laughs> of is the Red Rose EGA. Um, and, of course, there's a guild 
EGA in York, Carlisle, but festivals for cross-stitch, not so much. You might want to connect with the local needle workshops and find out where the classes and things are. Um, yeah. And their stitch-ins and things of that nature, but mm, I don't know of any festivals per se. The EGA participates in a fiber festival every so many years, but I think that's the only one I'm, I'm familiar with. Okay. Um, <clears throat> S. Matz. I saved this um, comment because she found us and she has never cross-stitched, but she's interested in beginning a new hobby. Isn't that cool? That is. Yes. Um, we've heard from so many people that are new beginners or somewhat new to cross-stitch and that's so exciting. And we're actually working on a basics <clears throat> video that we're going to talk about towards the end of this video. So um, maybe that'll be helpful if you're starting out for the first yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's just awesome. I love that. Um, Let's see, Denise, she loves the ornaments all around. Where can she purchase it? Oh, I'd go to ABC Stitch, uh, 123 Stitch, just mm -hmm. do a search. Um, I can put a couple links in the description box. Okay. And um, then, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, when you're through, mm -hmm. um, I'll share a couple of things I had, and maybe you'll run and get a cord. I sure will. <laughs> In fact, <clears throat> the cord is there. Oh, good. <laughs> I just didn't plug it in. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't make our voices not match our words. That was the microphone. Oh. Ew. Gotcha. Ew. Okay, it was the microphone, good. not the cord. So many problems. Yes, we need right. to run out of juice in the middle of this. Yeah, so Norma Jean, um, she, thank you for the nice things about the house tour that you said. And then she wanted to know how long it takes to decorate a Christmas tree because it's so large. Honestly, it really doesn't take that long. We just, we make um, a day of our decorating our Christmas tree. The kids love to have hors d'oeuvres and we put a movie on. Um, but the funny thing is, since it is 16 foot tall, McKenna's boyfriend, Connor, is the one who climbs to the top of the 10 or 12 foot ladder, stands on the very top of it and decorates the top of the tree. He has great balance. So he's responsible for like the top, I don't know, four or five feet, whatever. Yep. And, <laughs> and then we all... We have another ladder, um, and we all just decorate under him. <laughs> <laughs> Below the 12-foot ladder. Yes, and if there's a spot or something, I'll say, okay, Connor, put, you know, something over there. Uh, but, no, it's a, it's a family thing, and we all get to decorating it and get it done. That's it, but thank you so much. Um, oh, uh, another person on um, the home tour, she wanted to know... All the greenery I use throughout the house, is it real or fake? And where do I get most of it? Um, it's both. I have a lot of living plants because I love living plants and greenery, but I also have some artificial. And we have so many stores in our area here that have like, um, you know, decor things or mm -hmm. the country stores. And so I just kind of pick it up wherever I can see and find it, but I try to get it off season or you know definitely on sale and all, all that so 40 percent off coupons <clears throat> those are good yeah i mean even you know if you go to hobby lobby and places like that they have stuff but i only got one thing there um, most of it we have so many different um, country stores around here that have a lot of a lot of that so they do carry a lot at hobby lobby though yeah they do yeah um, Sweet Tea Stitcher, she wanted to know in the bathroom that I show downstairs, uh, are the snowflakes redware or are they stitched? They're like on a long um, string, they're, they're garland and they are felt. Um, and then Brenda, she wanted to know in my hallway if the little houses that line the hallway, are they handmade? Those are those cat's meow houses. Well, I mean, most of them are. They don't have to be. You know, they made generic ones too. And I just, if I like the house or if they have, if they're of um, something around us or around here, then that's always fun to collect. Yep. But that's what those little houses are. The little wooden ones. Okay. Then? Look. All right. Let's take a picture of my uh, <laughs> pork and uh, sauerkraut. Pork and sauerkraut. <laughs> okay. Yum. All right. Shall we turn? Deb's going to do a technical thing here. Um, and I'm going to say excuse me while I close that window. And we're going to try to plug in the power without disturbing too much. But yes. I wanted to make a comment um, about someone had emailed um, and said they hadn't been 
to our channel before and they were looking at our videos and they only found a few they were wondering where the ones that were missing might be well good i'm just gonna drop it though if we don't tuck it back up a little bit can you squeeze that yeah. there we go okay technical difficulty averted just down a tiny bit there well, you might need to slide it and <laughs> You guys want to tell her when it's straight? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the weight. If we tip it now. There you go. That's good. Good to go? Yep. The cord was pulling the phone down. Okay. So anyway, um, I realized when she said that, that what she was doing was something I had done when I first started watching YouTube a long time ago when I would go out to a channel to look for other videos. And I thought maybe it might be a good idea to take a look at what goes on when you're on YouTube and see there. So she was saying she couldn't find all of our videos? Right. Oh. She said she had she'd found some, but she was there were big gaps in the videos. So gotcha. when you go out to YouTube, you'll see that every creator has their little thumbnail, which is the little circle next to their video or their channel. If you tap that you then get taken to that person's channel now when you get to that channel up at the top you'll see a menu bar if you're on the home page you will not see all the videos you have to then go to the video page and when you get to the video page then you will find all the videos that have been posted and that's true of every creator's site. So home may not be representative of all of them, but go to the video selection and you'll find them all. So hopefully that helps maybe more than just the one person who couldn't find them. Yeah. I know it. I played with it a little bit when I first started watching YouTube, especially on my iPad. Not so much the TV because I yeah. didn't, you can't, I don't think you can get to that level on the television. I never so, tried. Yeah. yeah. So then um, I had one other comment to make, and I hope Beth finds this as entertaining as I did, but I made mention of having seen, when they were looking at the patterns that were going in our grab bags, there was an Erica Michaels pattern that I liked that had cardinals on it, and I commented that she was gonna be at Silver Needle in their summer event as a designer, and somebody else was gonna be joining her, but I just couldn't remember who that was. <laughs> it's Beth Twist. <laughs> So, Beth will be there with Eric and Michaels, and it's in July. It's a great time that they have. Um, so, if you're interested, look it up on Silver Needle's uh, website. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see. Um, oh, before we get off of our discussion about holidays and things, I had a couple pictures I wanted to show. Aww. You saw um, McKenna with Deb, and my kiddos are gone, but I got a picture in the mail from Kevin and his girlfriend and it's a what would you call that a New Year's picture um, kind of a she called it a glamour shot uh -huh. uh, but that's my son Kevin and his girlfriend Carrie and I didn't get a um, family picture from Florida I got a picture of Christmas morning with the kids opening some things but then Kevin has a new member in his family. <laughs> um, he and his roommate, Mike, picked up two Westies. The one looking at the camera is Kevin's. That's Oliver. And the one, <laughs> kind of the side profile view there, is Ditto, which I think is an adorable name. Um, and that's Mike's. <laughs> and then... Where's mine? <laughs> I know. Where's mine, Dad Kevin? Said, <laughs> Dad said, I want a Westie. <laughs> and then there's my guy. Oh. Dressed in his Christmas <laughs> scarf. He's such a good looking dog. He is. <laughs> so cute. So anyway, there's my kid shots for today. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought from this point on we would talk about um, what we got for Christmas. Yes. Yes. You want to go? You go. Stitching wise. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I did yeah. get my Instapot. <laughs> I was pretty sure when McKenna said, but if I tell her, she'll know we got no. it. <laughs> McKenna, no. You didn't say that. That was funny. It was. Oh, my 
my goodness. All right, so let's start with um, when we, we went, my birthday weekend um, in December, we went to uh, St. Michael's. I love that town. And there was a new store that opened up right there on like the main street where the shops are. And um, she, was ba she was mainly, well, she was a needlepoint store. But boy, did she have some cool threads in there. I mean, just lots of different fibers. So sweet, great store, I hope she does well. So I picked up some threads and Matt stuck them in my stocking. And I just got some, um, some thread works that I thought were just beautiful colors, ones that I'll be able to use in some of my um, stitching because very earthy colors, but real pretty. Where did you say this was? In St. Michael's. Remember when we oh, went there right. for the weekend? That's right. Um, and she does classes and everything there, but it's, it's needlepoint. You know, mm -hmm. you walk in and it's uh, lots of beautiful um, hand-painted um, canvases mm -hmm. and all that. Then I picked up a couple um, Splendor that I like. Um, the Black Splendor. Um, then I saw these and I thought this was so cool. Silk fibers. It's called raw silk. Did you ever see that? Isn't that Aren't interesting? They neat? It's almost like a fine raffia made yeah. out of silk. Yeah. And so when I, when she first showed me, because she said these are so much fun to stitch with, and I looked at her, I'm like, what? It doesn't look like it'd be fun to stitch Straw with. But silk. they're beautiful, and I think that might be really really fun on certain um, fabrics. Mm -hmm. So I just got three of those. Um, I wonder if you need a laying tool. I asked her that. She said she she said uh, she does what I do. She said you can. She says I usually just use my finger. I said oh okay. my gosh, so do I. Sometimes. So she still you, yeah. you place it. You do place it. Okay. Yeah, because it is. It's it like Liz said. See how it it's flat. It's flat. It's like a um, yeah. It's like a, a, a eighth inch silk ribbon or something. And it is silk. You're mm -hmm. right. I mean it, it it is like a ribbon. It's so cool. Very pretty. So um and it's by Silk Road Fibers. Anyway, I want to try that because I think that would be so much fun. That I mean, obviously you'll have to use a larger count fabric, uh, but I'm not so sure. Beautiful. They use some of the some of those fibers on the smaller counts. No, I mean not 40 count. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But you're, you know, 28, yeah. oh, 32. Yeah. Oh, think yeah. Think it'd be well, okay. Yeah, 28 definitely. Maybe 32 even. They're just so pretty, so different. So I got those there. And McKenna put a put a um, really pretty pair of scissors in my stocking um, and then from buttermilk basin I got this um, pattern I wanted to get some wool applique so I like that ice skate and it comes with all of the wool to get that done and then I got the Christmas at buttermilk bills buttermilk basin <laughs> that's hard to Three say times fast. Woo! Um, which has lots of different ideas in it um, for Christmas for wool applique Got that one, and then one more from there. Cute little barn ornament. Is this all still St. Michael's? No, this is Buttermilk Basin. This was and ordered. And that's a store? This was ordered online. Okay, that's not a vendor, that's a store. Buttermilk yeah. Basin. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that was from there. And um, I got a few more uh, number 22 tapestry needles. We had gotten these one time in mm -hmm. uh, in a welcome in packet. A, yeah, mm -hmm. we did. Yeah, those are orange. those are great needles. What size are those? Uh, twenty-two, because okay. some of those other fibers, I'm gonna need mm -hmm. those yep. needles for them. Uh, and then Liz gave me some goodies. So I didn't know this when she was showing you the patterns that she bought recently, but she bought them for me. So the one that I told you, maybe it's just I whine enough that <laughs> I don't know huh. but what it is. No, but. I picked that out long before the whining started. <laughs> Plum Street Samplers, the rack stack. I love that. So cute. I have that. And then the Easter Parade one that we love. And this is by Blackbird Designs. I'm going to have to pick up the, make sure I have the threads for that. Because yeah. that. Oh, that'd yeah, be fun yeah. to have that one actually done. Thank you for spring. Mm -hmm. And then she got me the threads for the Noel um, pattern, and who that was Brenda Gervais, right? Mm -hmm. So there's the threads in there for that, and some extra needles. So 
size 28. I was very nice and didn't buy her highlighters. Yeah, and when we were stitching in her house the other day. <laughs> I swear. I, yeah. Huh. Liz, you don't happen to have a highlighter, do you? I, I did. I just can't believe you don't have one sitting on my chair when I run. <laughs> it's much more fun to wait till you ask. <laughs> one of these days you should just say, no, Deb, I don't have a no, highlighter. They're all gone. All 42 I've of given them. Given them to you all. <laughs> Then she was able to find these, um, what do you call these? Those are, those are like, um, what did they call them? Bag tags or they're protectors oh, for ID tags. Oh, ID badge holders. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause when, um, we had bags made from Sarah, redheaded stitcher, she very cleverly would put one of these on each of her bags. And then you can put your, um, information of what you have inside your bag. Did on you there. notice? Oh, no, I did not. Look at you. I made cool. her a tag for the Noel project to go awesome. in her little batch. Then she got me some of these scissors. <laughs> Look like uh, <laughs> medical scissors. <laughs> yeah. One pair is the kind that has the the opposing scissor that blade one. has a yeah. dip in it yeah. that picks up threads, and that's neat. Yeah. And the other one is just yeah. plain, really, 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 really sharp. Yes. In case the frog visits you. <laughs> Okay. It's good for pulled threads or counted threads, mm -hmm. like when you're doing drawn threads. And or then any of those various words. She got me these cards to keep actually um what do you call those? Strips of Belt. wool. wool or, felt. Yeah, wool in it for rug hooking. Because separators. Yes. Um and also I love this, this little I didn't hang it on the tree, I had to keep it out. I'll put it on next year. But the little rug hooking ornament. I thought that was pretty. I think that's cool. I like that. Very pretty. Yes. Um, Different. Very, yes. It'll be the only one on your tree. It will. Yeah. Yes, it will. And then she made me... So pretty. This peyote fob. <laughs> it's only about three years overdue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not counting. I'll wait forever. It's okay. <laughs> And she made me this one. It's one of my favorites. I love her. This one she picked out. I did. I picked this out when we were at Salty Yarn. She is so pretty. What's her name again? Oh, Maggie the Mermaid. Yep. Look at her. McKenna goes, oh, she even has a belly button. <laughs> yep, that she was so cute. Look at that. That was Fern Ridge Collections. So cute. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And... The reason why she got me some rug hooking supplies is because we need to add that obsession to our crafting. Yes, our quiver. Mm -hmm. We're going to be going to the Fiber Fest, Spring Fiber Fest, and that is in March, the end of March. And we're taking a rug hooking class there. Mm -hmm. and we also had very sweet um, subscribers send us some rug hooking supplies that I really want to get onto and figure out how to get it how to get it done. So we, oh, I ordered from W. Cushing and Company. Um, we need to get a frame for our rug hooking. And Liz found a great one. And was it wasn't from this company, though, was it? Was that another one? No, that was a, through Etsy. Okay. Um, Bee Creek Limited. Yeah. That was, I actually talked to Teresa Miller and asked her what frame we That's ought to use. Right. And she sent me a link and we got our frames through them at Bee Creek Limited. They're, um, yeah. I'll jump in here since we both, I had gotten, my son asked me what I wanted and I said I needed a rug hooking frame. Mm -hmm. And so it's by Kay's Creation. This one has um, like a square uh, frame on the top of the stand. We both have the same lap stand, but uh, the one that we ordered is octagonal. And I think Deb's actually, the one she ordered, came with an 11 by 17 frame also, right? I, th I think so. It's yeah. supposed to. Or 11 by 7. Which, whichever. Yeah. It's, she, she got two top frames with hers. Um, and yeah. you never know exactly what the combination is that will be out on Etsy in those stores. But right. um, for our purposes, we were both fortunate that they had the octagonal ones. Yeah, yeah. Teresa recommended. So Liz showed me hers when I went over to stitch the other day and I was like, oh, it's <laughs> perfect. Time we stitched, she had all of this. I ordered. did. Yep. I, I had ordered the frame and I ordered from this company, I ordered three hooks um, in different sizes. 
because I'm not sure exactly which one I'll need for that class. Um, but then they also send you a freebie. Um, I don't know, do you call it a chart, I guess? Canvas? Canvas. And so they sent that. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's a cute little reindeer. So that's cool. So now we'll be all set for when we take our class. Ditto on the road cooking stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm so glad you showed me all that. And I actually bought one kit to do quite a while ago, actually. Oh, um, that's so pretty. I picked it up online. It's kind of a Christmas tree. It's it's not really Christmas. It's just an evergreen. Yeah. And I thought that would be nice all winter. So this is going to be my learn to rug hook kit. <laughs> um, and I'm... I actually have it stretched over my frame right now, but I haven't done anything with it. I was actually being very nice and waiting for Deb, because Deb, McKenna was actually looking at frames, but then McKenna told me what frame she was looking at, and I said, I'm not sure about that frame. That looks like the wrong size, and it turned out to be one that's used for punch needle rug. Rug punch needle? However they word it but it's punch needle on the rug canvas. So it was a different type of frame and much smaller space to do it. And so we ended up changing it. And that's when McKenna said, well, I think I'll wait. Well, I, I actually told her, I, it didn't have great reviews. It did say you could do rug hooking on it, yeah. but it, it wasn't the right size. I mm -hmm. wanted something larger and I'm so glad I waited because it just didn't feel right. And also the reviews I read, it was not great. So I had told her, mm, don't worry about it. Never mind. I, I don't want one of those. So that's why when I stopped by Liz's house and she had it already received her frame, um, that it was perfect. And it's, it's well made. Thanks, Teresa. It's a great <laughs> size. I love it. So yeah, thanks, Teresa. That was great. Now we'll be all set. Yes. All set. All right. All right. Okay. Show the rest of your goodies. Sure. I got a pair of scissors oh, from cute. Pat sent me these. She's in my round robin group. And they go with one of my um, fobs that I designed perfectly. You know, my red mm -hmm. and green one yep. that I did the alternate version of for the yeah. giveaway. Yeah. So I'm anxious to put Cute. that on here. And then um, my other friend Barb sent me um, a waxer. And then also um, two sets of Hands Across the Sea Sampler cards. Let's see if I can get them separated here. That's going to be fun to use those. Mm -hmm. And then Deb gave me <laughs> this is sort of like uh, get on with it, Liz. <laughs> the um, Princess Amagurumi, which was almost a year ago when I first started those. I'm waiting. Well, it doesn't matter what I'm making. I now have the Frozen set. I think that's so cute. Look at the reindeer. <laughs> that's not Sven. Uh, Sven's the guy. What's the reindeer's name? Do you remember? What's his name? Oh, uh, no. Oh, I gotta brush up on Are my frozen. Are you sure frozen. it's not Sven? No, Sven's no. the guy. Oh, okay. The Olaf called the reindeer Sven, and then they said, no, he's Sven, and he goes, oh, well, that'll be easy, and he's oh. like, oh, they're both Sven, <laughs> but they're not. I forget. Um, anyway, uh, this will be fun, and I know the girls will love them when they get them done, so. <laughs> and then Deb got me another mouse. Speaking of just Nan, <laughs> this is Queen of the Needle. Is that the right title? Yeah, Queen of the Needle. And then she also got me the pattern for the stand little box that she sits on. And that's my Christmas goodies <laughs> for stitching. Oh, do you have that wooden? Aside from my frame um, and all that, that's at home. That wooden thread holder? Thread keep that I that I tied on your um gift. Oh gosh, I got no! One of those too. I do not have I was that with me. Share that. I forget. Gosh, I'm trying to think where I ordered that from, but they are beautiful. That um, is still sitting on my table in my craft room. Because this is one I got. Oh, when okay. I yours. Yes, that's um, pretty. They're like laser cut. Mine's a pretty? sleigh. It's yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. And I'll yours is like um, this is a darker, um, color. Yours is more of a natural mm. or light. Yep. But those are so pretty. They are. Yeah, I couldn't use this because I didn't want you to see it. I wonder <laughs> where I got it from. <laughs> giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. <laughs> All right. Um, well, that was fun. Mm -hmm. And 
this kind of leads us to Deb texted me and she said, you want to talk about our stitching plans for 2020? <laughs> I texted back <laughs> stitching plans. I've heard that before <laughs> and then two laugh out loud faces, but um, we did. We decided we would talk about that a little bit. You want to lead? Yeah, because honestly, I... <laughs> okay. I, am I going... did have some thoughts. I won't call mine plans. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you go first. Well, I definitely want to finish the ornaments all around. I mean, what, this is the third Christmas? Yeah. I got, well, and I really do want to finish it because I do know now, I had some people ask how I'm going to like fit, fully finish it. I am going to take it to Mike, the framer, and I'm going to have him put it under glass, but I'm going to have it made into a tray. So. Nice. But also, I'm going to have him put a hanger on the back so that if I want to hang the tray, I can hang it or set it on the table. And I want to go pick out two antique handles that mm -hmm. I like for it. So all of our mud sales are starting soon. Are you going to do it that shape? Mm -mm. No? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. I think I'm going to keep it. That shape, since you couldn't see what I oh, pointed yeah. at, is the sort of <laughs> octagonal shape of the original design. I think I'm going to keep it completely round. But who knows? Yeah, it depends on... Yeah. what I'm feeling that day yeah. when I'm there picking everything out. But I want to get handles and um, I want to get two antique handles for, for us to put on when he's finished and some legs on the bottom of it mm -hmm. so that if I want to put it on the table, I can, or if I want to hang it on the wall, I It's kind of like that um, needlepoint piece that my grandmother did mm -hmm. that's hanging in my kitchen. That she did on that Sudbury? No. Is that a Sudbury tray? No, that tray that's on my wall that has that, um, it's a scripture that she did. Uh, it's in blues and yellows. Oh, that's got the two okay. handles, and it'll also sit as a tray. That's how she had that one framed. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's what I want to do. So I want to get that done. But um, I do have a Sudbury tray, but it doesn't hang. It doesn't? Mm -mm. Okay. That was the bunnies I did for my mom. Okay, Yeah. all right. So that's definitely a plan. Other than that, <laughs> I don't want to limit myself. You know, I don't want to make myself have to finish something. <laughs> I like to stitch, you know, whatever I feel like I'm in the mood for at that moment. But... All of the things that I have going, like my dimensions piece, the farm, um, the winter piece, I love that. So I have been working on that and I'm going to continue to work on that because I absolutely love stitching on that one. Um, and then just some of the other ones that I already have in progress, I want to keep stitching away on those to, to try and hopefully have a future finish. Keep working on them. But yeah. if there's something else, if. Yeah. <laughs> I thought to myself, okay, plans, 2020. First one that came to mind was My this plans. one by... Teach what I want, when I want, how I want, where I want, how well, long you want. This one came to mind because I I'd been that. wanting to get this pattern for forever, mm -hmm. and I finally got it at uh, HodgePodge in the uh, fall. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I have this one, and I do want to do another Quaker piece, so I have that, and I'm excited about that. But then there's also this one by Brenda Gervais that I actually have everything for. I was for, just going to say that, before. yeah. And I'm still debating on this one as to when to start it. I have not started it. So those are Tomorrow. two that I know I do want to start. But then that leaves the ones that are in progress. <laughs> so I do want to work on the sample I'm going to show you in a couple minutes that I've been working on this Christmas. I do want to finish that one. And I want to finish it before next Christmas. And then I have another Christmas Quaker sampler that I want to continue to work on. That's the one with the flower thread. And I'll show you that one. Well, that that's this pattern right here by Bygone Stitches. I almost said my days gone by. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and that's a Quaker Christmas. This is the one I'm using um, the two. Actually, there's three shades of flower thread. There's a maroon, a gold, and then the, the sort of... Um, blue green flower thread that I'm doing the back of it so those are the ones that came to mind right away along with this one which I will actually show you the work on a little bit later but it's the blackbird design Felice Navidad that I bought at Salty Yarns in the fall so those jumped out <laughs> and I didn't even bother to pull out the project bags <laughs> might come to the top because <laughs> every time I pull them out they shift yeah and so yeah whatever yeah. comes on but I do also want to work on some of my mice right I decided I need to right. get a few more mice in my little um yeah I don't know what a 
colony. That's what they're called, a colony. I want to get some more of them done. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, working on our um, share the drug needle work yes. stitch that we're doing. Yes. That's important. So what have you been um, working on? Well, aside from this. <laughs> yes. The ornaments all around. I'll show you again. Uh, the Glendon Place. Um, it is DMC color thread. And then lots of Krynic that I keep in here. Lots and lots. And lots of bees also. It is so much fun to stitch. This is that snowflake that goes in the middle that we were talking about earlier. It's a larger charm. And so lots and lots of beads. All of them mill health. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when you're you're doing this that has a lot of beads, of course these little tacky bobs that Liz, um, I think on a gadget corner, mm -hmm. if you're a fan of the gadget corner, everybody is, um, she showed you how important these are when you're doing beading. And there's my beading needle. It's one of my favorites. The real long, bendy, flexible ones. Love those. Um, so your beads will just... Yeah, quote you. Yeah, you can. What type of needle is that? A long, long bendy, bendy, flexible, flexible one. one. <laughs> um, so th this comes in so handy when you're when you're doing that. And so I'll show you my progress. Again, Am coming I in. Right? in. Nope, nope, nope. You're good. Incoming. Yes. So I I have gotten quite a bit done actually. Yep. Um, I was working on this greenery last time we we spoke, and so I have this ornament finished and gingerbread finished, and this ornament, and now I'm working down here. I still need to put my beads on this guy. So, like I said, I'm definitely going to get this guy mm, finished. A couple movies worth. This year, huh? A couple movies worth. Yes. Oh, at least. Yeah. Um, but it is. It's a lot of fun to do, and the colors are so pretty. Then, um, I did get a little bit more work done on um, our collaboration with Beth Twist, Heartstring Samplery. It's the Choose Your Own Motto um, sampler. So, of course, we had... She, she put our motto in the middle, share the joy of needlework. So this is what I have so far. I did not get to the 40 count stuff. No? No. No, 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 no. That's what I have so far. Nice. Thank you. The colors are really The lettering cool. looks really nice on that size. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I like that. It's really pretty. And... Yes, Liz did let you know this is on 40 count, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Yeah. What's that on? Because it's over one. It's not. No, we're doing it on um, 30 32. 32 over one. Over one. Yeah. Yeah. I lied. And that's small enough. Okay. Then I got some more work done on the Heaven and Nature Sing, the Kathy Barrick um, pattern with the deer. That's what you're doing 40 count on. Yeah. That's over what two. you're doing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes, and that's on 40 count bisque. Um, and if you remember, I was going to outline my deer first and then kind of work on the motifs and save filling in this beast for other times when you don't, you know, like I can stitch in the car sometimes. And, um, but it's nice not to have to. His legs. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple. I didn't have them when I saw him last. Nope. Just had a hind Just end. Just had a butt. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I have so far of the deer. Um, and once I finish the legs down here, then um, I think I'll let him alone, or maybe I'll do the antlers, and then I'll move on to some of the motifs and save filling him in for another time where I can just sit down and just do some mindless stitching. I don't have to worry about changing colors or counting or anything. So cool. that's all I've gotten done. Well, quite a bit. Two of the things I did, you saw in her gifts, I did the two peyote fobs um, the week before Christmas. And then I decided to go to work. I decided, you know what? It's a holiday. I don't care what else is sitting back there in my craft room staring at me. I'm going to start the sampler I wanted to do for Christmas. So I did. I did, I did, I did. <laughs> and the funny part is I'm still only using the same two color threads, but I was very happy with myself. Yes, you were. Because I got the border, the, the two color part of the border done. Um, and it matched up at the other end. Which she texted me really right away. Exciting part. Yeah. <laughs> I sent her a picture. They match. <laughs> and then I went back and filled in. What I did actually funny. was very quick. Um, I 
I looked at this pattern for a while because I thought, now, if I sit and I try to do this straight across, I'm going to drive myself nuts. Because my, for some reason, my eyes don't like patterns like this. No? No. So I counted out the, the line that goes running up and down all the way around. And it goes in groups of seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six. And I just did that the whole way around. And then I went back and filled in the leaves that go oh. under the flowers on the sides. And I am so glad I did it that way because I didn't do any frogging. Oh, good. So now I was actually hopeful that I would, I'm going to start by just doing a side here like this straight down. And that way I'll have a starting point for everything to go across. And okay. I think that'll be fun for me. And um, unfortunately, I got busy with some other stuff with our videos and I didn't start working on this yet. But I need to go around and put all the little flowers in. And then I'm going to start down this side. So nice. That's the plan. Very cool. Yes. And the fabric? The fabric is Legacy. One of our favorites. Yes. And I am really enjoying working on this. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that what I got? I say that. It was funny when she texted me and said, oh, it matches. It matches. I was working on my deer doing the outline. And my first thought was, I hope this deer matches. <laughs> when I get around get the bottom. It, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, it's 32 count legacy is okay. what I got for that one. All right. And I believe that's actually what it called That's going to be such a cute size. It is. I like that. It is. I'm not exactly sure. Very pretty. How I'm going to finish it up, but it will nice. be fun. And for those of you who are wondering why it's in that place on the fabric, <laughs> it's because I asked... <laughs> you laughing at me. I asked for a two-inch border when I had it cut. And that's what the calculations were on the fabric app and I think it was just cut a little more generously it rounds up on the fabric app and I must have been at the downside of an inch on both of the two edges because there's easily another two inches all the way at the top and on the side so it just it added a little space and I think it was just it was nicely cut so mm -hmm. I have some extra room yeah it's always better to have extra always better always yes. Yes, and always better to not be running off the bottom when you're through with your border. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> just, it does liven things up, but I'd rather just have a very mediocre time of my samplers. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What are we doing now? We're going to... Um, oh, we did do that part. So we went from stitching plans to what we've been doing, and guess what? What? Let's give away some grab bags. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. While we're doing this, I do need to talk to you Let's about do our grab bags. Um, we asked for you to put in grab bag and be a subscriber. And then we used our random, um, comment generator and generated a series of, um, winners. And then, uh, we verified subscribers and these are our six winners. Mm -hmm. I would just say, if you think you're a subscriber, be sure to verify it. And if you're not a subscriber, and you would like to participate, please subscribe. Um, we had about 44% of all the comments. We had quite a few comments, over mm -hmm. 500 comments, people entering into the, well, we had more than that for comments, but that was the number of people that wanted to enter. Um, but 44% of them were actually subscribers. So please make sure you're a subscriber mm -hmm. if we're doing a subscriber giveaway, and it's real easy to do that. So yeah. we don't want to leave anybody out. Right. Lori Leonard. Leonard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leonard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was that? Learn. <laughs> I know because I wrote them uh, the first Cynthia time. She wrote them Fuller. the second time. <laughs> Debbie Kaisler. Kaisler. Mm -hmm. Edwina Bang. Barbara Sinlinger and Valerie Rennell. Congratulations. Yes. So, all of you, if you could get hold of her. Yes, in 
in our Dropbox, we have our um, emails listed. Yes. Um, if you can send me your physical addresses, so you'll see my um, email. Uh, if you could send those to me, then we will get your grand bags out to you. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. And thank you for being subscribers. Yes. And thank you. While we're talking about this, we um, have over 7,000 subscribers now. Yeah. So we've hit so another let's... milestone. Yeah. So we're... Let's give away more stuff. We are going to do that. Um, just be sure you subscribe because what we will do is ask you to leave a comment on this video using the word subscriber. Mm -hmm. And then next week we will have chosen a subscriber to award what we're calling um, a stitchy kit. Mm -hmm. Some of our favorite things. And it's going to have a lot of fun stuff in it. It's going to have scissors, a scissor fob, a needle minder, mm, some needles. Mm -hmm. And maybe something else. And you don't, yeah. <laughs> so, you don't have to tell everything. No, I don't. <laughs> Next week, you'll see what it is. And thank you very much yes, um, to all you. of you who support our channel and yes. all of you who view our channel. Yes. And also to all the other channels in Floss Tube and uh, the local needle workshops, everybody mm -hmm. who helps make this needlework craft as special as it is. We yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah. But now that we're at this point, we thought we might talk about the highlights in 2019 as we close out this video. Um, it was funny because we both were going down the same path when we got together today. We said, so what do you have on your list? And I had three Marvel movies on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, and Spider-Man Far From Home. They all came out in 2019. Um, I am a big Marvel Studio fan. No. I am. And oh... And my second favorite thing, well, no, just one of my favorite. Those are three favorite things. Another favorite thing, Disney Plus Channel. Oh, my word. I yeah. love it. Deb was over last week, and we were watching um, Beauty and the Beast, the original animated one, on the uh, Disney Plus Channel. But they really have outdone themselves with that channel. They... Uh, McKenna is working on me so bad. Try and get that. Oh, <laughs> you need to, Mom. You need to. It's, oh, uh, yeah, you need to. <laughs> it's good. It is. It really is. And they have a lot of um, interesting original videos um, and series on there, too. Well, it was funny because when we were just talking about it again the other night, and McKenna was saying what all was on there, Matt's the one that actually said, and they have all the Marvel movies. Because <laughs> he and Logan are huge Marvel fans. So. Yep. Yeah. So. They're trying to wear me down. I'll work on it. <laughs> but I was just fooling around thinking of things that were fun. Um, but we both said... At the same time, um, when we were first at HodgePodge and Stitches Unlimited and got an opportunity to meet viewers, mm -hmm. um, that was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely highlights, that's for sure, of our year. Yes. Because anytime we get to, you know, put a face with the name um, or just get that connection, make more stitching friends, it's awesome. It is. Oh, my goodness. It it's is. the best. Mm -hmm. And... I also think um, when we connected with Beth mm -hmm. uh, on our motto pattern, that was fun. That was fun. And that's going to be an ongoing uh, project. So Yes, I'm, I'm still getting lots of uh, comments and messages from lots of people that are buying the pattern and getting ready to stitch it this year. And thank you so much. It's yes. great to see that Share the Joy of Needlework because that is obviously our goal. <laughs> that's, that's why we do what we yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, our day treat, that was so much fun. It was and getting to meet Kathy and Liz yes. at that stitching um, in the barn that they yes. did on Saturday that yes. day. And our holiday at Stitches Unlimited. And, yes. Oh, my goodness. So many fun It's times. been a really, really special year. Yeah. Um, not, not just here and our friendship and our time together, but um, finally getting out and getting to meet mm -hmm. all of you yeah. and being outside. Yeah. Yeah. Especially a homebody like me. <laughs> I was like, damn, are you going anywhere this week? <laughs> so now I'm out. I am free. <laughs> we have released you. Yes. <laughs> and so now this coming year, gosh, well, who knows what we'll get into this year. Mm -hmm. We have a couple things coming up. Mm -hmm. Some fun things. Think Some unusual. I know we did say we had something um, on our calendar that was going to be different. And uh, it's still on our calendar. It got moved out mm -hmm. a little bit. Nothing to do with um, anything specific. But uh, we had to kind of put that on the back burner for a little while. But that's mm -hmm. coming right up. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Um, and I'm sure a lot more with our local needlework stores. Yeah. And so yeah. 
Thank you yes. very much for 2019. Yes, thank you. And thank you. <laughs> oh, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're going to wrap up our video a little differently today uh, with something that's just a little <laughs> bit of fun. But as always, share, share the joy in your work. <laughs> Oops. We hope you like this. We got a kick out of it. Yes. And as soon as I get it going, it was sitting here ready to go. <laughs> and it changed its mind. Got it? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Bye, everyone.